Hey there, it's Anna coming at you with a stationary haul today. I've actually been waiting about, I think, five or six weeks to get this stationery in the mail from Etsy. Um, I ordered it back in the beginning of December, hoping it would come in time for me to get my 2019 bullet journal together, but it did not. Instead, it came at the end of January. First of all, a little bit stressed about getting this done now that it's already a month into 2019, but I'm gonna save that for another video. Anyway, I have a bunch of washi tape and stickers and just other random crap that I ordered that I was really excited to get in my unbox last night. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got and yeah, it's about to get a real fucking nerdy in here. So let's drop in kids. I'm going to start off with the washi tape that I got. There's a lot of rolls here. Ooh. Okay, the first roll I wanted to show you guys was this one. The scene on there is from Spirited Away, which I think is so baller. This roll goes through a bunch of scenes from the movie. So you can see there's like the radish spirit and here's the bridge from the bathhouse. And then it goes all the way to show Chihiro. And then eventually No Face is in there somewhere as well. It's actually quite a long scene, but I'm so excited about this because I love Ghibli movies and I love Spirited Away. I got a bunch of scenic washi tape that kind of mimic like real life scenes. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'll show you. So for example, there's one here. And this one has a bunch of stars on it and it's like a little bit of a ocean scene. So that's really cool to detail the bottom of your pages. And then I also got this really awesome grass one. It also came in a Ghibli set and it's in the same watercolor and gouache style as the scenery in those movies. And you can see here. And then I also got the sky one for good measure, of course. So this one, I don't know, I'm thinking of some like cute spreads where you have this at the top with the grass at the bottom. And then I'm really obsessed with this one. I just used it in a spread that I was making last night. I don't know if you can see it but it's just sort of this abstract detail that goes all the way around with all these different sort of like paint splotches and dots and like different pastel colors. I think it's really, really pretty. Ooh, another scenic one. Here's another one that shows a scene. It's a forest and it's done in this really cute illustration style with a bunch of different pastel trees and forests and just little like bushes and flowers. Here's the actual tape if you want to see it. This one's also fairly wide. And then my final two, told you about a lot of washi tape. I got two different cherry blossom washi tapes. So one is blue, which I think is also like very nice. And it has sort of this like turquoise teal color when you look at it up close with the little flowers. And then of course like the more traditional one that is the pink cherry blossoms. And it has a very transparent white background. So you might not even be able to see the edges of the washi tape that well. Oh, just kidding, we have more. I didn't have any plain washi tape, so I ordered a pack of different colors here. They're a little bit pastel, but some of them are brighter as well, so I like that variety. They remind me a lot of the Zebra Midliner, so if you like those colors, these are very, very similar. Moving on from the washi tape, now we have stickers. Okay, the first pack I got were these really adorable rabbit stickers. I'm sure this guy has a name. I see him everywhere, but I have no idea. He's just chubby rabbit. That one is the summer version and then there's also a Christmas stack which I'm very excited to use 11 months from now. <laughs> there's also this sheet which is really cute and there's a couple more. These guys will be really fun to use in my dailies. And then I have another rabbit pack. But yeah, these guys are pretty cute too. I've been using them in my dailies a lot. I think they're really fun. I like to use them if they're relevant for my days. So if I'm chilling on a beach, we can use this guy. If I'm a little cold, use this guy. I know it's like so weird for a 26 year old woman to be like really obsessed with Asian stickers. I have no excuses, really. And then I also got these guys, which are just metallic gold star stickers. And I think they're really cool. They'll be really nice for just sort of detailing pages instead of having like these very ornate images from the other stickers. I think these will be really cool for some spreads. I also got these in the first pack that got shipped to me, so I've been sticking them everywhere. I am obsessed with Shiba's and I think these are just so cute. 
I actually put one on top of my laptop case already. I also have one on my phone. <laughs> and then I actually didn't realize this, but a lot of the stickers I ordered are made of washi tape material, which I've never seen that before. At first I was a little worried because I thought they were gonna be too thin or they just like wouldn't look very nice, but the washi tapes actually works really well. I tested one of these last night and it makes it, it makes the sticker kind of disappear into the background. So it almost looks like you painted or drew whatever was on there. So I got these two sets that are in this really awesome kind of watercolor gouache illustration style. And they just have all these different lifestyle elements. You can kind of set a scene. I've seen people actually take this exact sticker pack and put them together to build like a living room or something on pages, which I think is really cool. Some of these are really cute actually, like this little orange glass. I'm not sure if you can see, but it says, my heart belongs to you. And then they have a little clipboard that says grind on it. I also discovered this pack of illustrations, also on washi tape and also in a watercolor style. I'm not sure if these were actually stolen from artists because I know the artists that did these images and this is not from their official store. Like this vending machine illustration and this here and this here, it's all from the same artist. So if this was you and I just bought bootleg versions of your stickers, I'm so sorry, please forgive me, but I really love this style of artwork and having that really kind of whimsical look to different foods and Japanese elements and carts. I told you guys this is going to be a lot. I bought different packs of these kind of tiny washi tape stickers as well. So you can see on the back, this is what they're actually supposed to look like. And then I also got these food stickers. I'm super obsessed with Japanese packaging and aesthetic and design. So I love their bottle packaging. So you see this a lot like in the 7-Elevens there and it just makes me really happy to have sticker versions of them. Oh wait, there's no Pikachu on here. <gasps> okay, well, I'm a little disappointed, but I got this pack here. This was supposed to have Luna from Sailor Moon and a Pikachu on it and a bunch of different pop culture characters and it looks like it's actually just some cats and rabbits. Oh, I guess this is from Sakura Card Captor. But they're still really cute. I wish it did have the ones that I originally saw in there. I'm really digging this little rabbit in a ramen cup. I think that's so adorable. Almost to the end of the stickers. Now I just got two more packs. This is a Totoro pack that comes in this really cute packaging. And you can see here on the back, we have the cat bus and then a couple different ones with the Totoro rabbit. And I have this little pack of food stickers as well. There's just something about food illustration and being able to stick like a bowl of ramen onto your journal. The Tayaki. Oh, I got some green tea shaved ice with red bean on there and a nice bowl of noodles. Well, dropping things everywhere. These actually might be one of my favorite things that I got recently. I actually ordered these off of Amazon for like $6. So these didn't come from Etsy, but I needed new correction tape and I found this. How amazing is that? And it comes in different flavors. <laughs> so we have strawberry and banana and regular milk. And there's also a chocolate milk, but they give you random ones in a pack of four. Really simple pack of sticky notes. I wanted something that was just really easy to write like small notes on that could kind of call out on a page and I like these colors. They're just very nice like lavender, pale turquoise and I don't know what this is, just like a pale blue, but very calming kind of oceany colors. Last but not least, I have this sticky notepad. You might've seen these. They're really popular on dropshipping sites of people who sell Asian stationery. I really like this one. I think it's super cool that you can just like write in the center of the screen and the colors are sick. I know there's a lot of artists that do sort of that retro 80s vibe pastel with pinks and purples and blues. And I just think they look so cool together. Oh, almost forgot this. I didn't realize there was a Muji store like a 20 minute walk from my house. So I was going to Trader Joe's the other day and saw it and of course went inside and lost 30 minutes of my life looking at everything. I really like this pen. It is a Muji, it's not a gel pen. It's just like a ink rolling. I have no idea what this is called. It's really smooth. It has a really fine tip. I have this problem between using micron pens, which are kind of like a felt tip and they get very, very fine and into a level of detail that I like, but I prefer the smooth, 
pens where it's easier to write. Very, very thin, but goes on very quickly and smooth onto the paper. I would definitely recommend this guy if you can find him at a Muji store. You can probably order it online if you really wanted to. For this, it came as a free gift with my Etsy package. He sent me a Totoro plush pouch for pens, and I think this is amazing. Maybe I'll just put in a couple pens that I can carry with me to work and then keep the rest of them in my larger pouch, but TBD. All right, well, that is it. That was my massive, massive haul of stationery, and I feel a little guilty and a little weird about spending so much money on stickers as a grown woman, but what are you gonna do? Do what makes you happy. I really wanted to film a 2019 setup with my journal, but of course now it's almost February, so it's a little bit late, but I might still do that, or I might do like a February plan with me, but I'm starting to get everything in order finally. I still have some sticky notes telling me like what I need to put together. Slowly but surely, it's coming together. Okay, so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.